Well, I'll just jump in quickly on the, um, on the stylistic question to start. Um, I did write this book very much hoping that it could be a hybrid book, a book that spoke to scholars in an interesting way and told them something that they didn't know, but that uh, could also be read by people who don't necessarily read a lot of history, people who do read a lot of history, um, happen to be interested in this period. And it was actually more challenging than I found it to be, the challenge of writing for uh, for multiple audiences um, and of attempting to put all of these things together to make it a good sort of rip-roaring detective tale as well as to fundamentally reinterpret the Gilded Age and Progressive Era. You know, it actually turned out to be not that easy, I will say. And, you know, I think there are points at which I succeeded better than not. But one of the things that I did try to do uh, strategically was to find people, um, to find people who could really embody and represent the sorts of things that I wanted to talk about so that they would move us through time, uh, but they would also be interesting people on, on their own merits. And luckily, in the case of figures like Emma Goldman or Bill Haywood, they were these people, Goldman in particular, she just, she just showed up everywhere something interesting was happening that I needed to write about. So she was sort of a gift in that sense. But stylistically, I do think that that is one of the ways that uh, people really connect with the past, and I don't think that it's something that uh, historians and scholars should shy away from. I don't think it's something that we should be ashamed of, and I think there's a whole element of history that really is about making these kinds of uh, personal and emotional connections with the past in addition to uh, dissecting and analyzing it.